Welcome to our lecture online. Next, we're going to show you how to square a trinomial. And this is kind of a special case because the result is kind of a unique result. You may not see this as much in your typical algebra class, but it's still interesting in noting what the result of this product will be. So x plus y plus z squared, which is x plus y plus z times x plus y plus z. Since each trinomial has three terms and we'll multiply them, we should have a product or we should have nine products as a result of that. So it's probably good to keep track of that using arrows. So we're going to take our first term and multiply it times each of the three terms in the second polynomial. There you go with three arrows. The second term multiply times each of the terms in the second trinomial. And then the third term multiply times each of the terms in the second trinomial. Notice nine arrows, meaning nine products. So let's go ahead and do that. So this will be equal to x times x, which is x squared, x times y, which is plus xy, and x times z, which is plus xz. So now we have the first three terms. The next three will be obtained when we'll multiply y times x, but we'll write as x times y y times y, which is plus y squared, and y times z, which is plus yz. That's our next three terms. And finally, the last three terms, when we multiply z times x, but we'll write it as xz. z times y, we'll write as plus yz, and z times z plus z squared. And notice we have nine terms from multiplying th uh, two trinomials. So now let's combine like terms. This is equal to x squared plus, we have an xy, so let's go ahead and put a line through that because otherwise we get confused. x times y plus x times y, that would be plus 2xy. Put a line through those, so we don't have to worry about those anymore. We have an x times z and an x times z, that means plus 2xz. Put a line through those. And then we have a plus y squared. Put a line through that one. And now we have a y times z plus a y times z that would be plus 2yz. Put a line through those. And then we have one term left, plus z squared. And notice that is as simple as we can write it, which means we have the three square terms, x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And then the other three terms are twice the product of any combination of the two variables. 2 times xy, 2 times xz, and 2 times yz. So the six terms are made up of the two square terms, and the three square terms, I should say, and the three terms that have a 2 with a product of two variables, 2xy, 2xz, and 2yz. And that's the result of taking a binomial and squaring it. It's kind of an interesting result. It's not as common but remember, in the case you have to do that, you can very easily come up with a solution to a similar problem like that. And that is how it's done.